Hear he, hear he. Welcome all to my LEGO YouTube channel where today in this video we are going to be taking a look at this really cool custom LEGO minifigure of the Queen in her Golden Jubilee outfit. The Golden Jubilee was a celebration of the Queen's 50 years in reign which was celebrated back in 2002 and this minifigure includes not only the outfit but also a custom printed face, a bracelet and a LEGO crown. All of these parts here are custom printed on official LEGO elements from the custom minifigure company minifigs.com me. Minifigs.me is a really cool company that specializes in custom printed Lego minifigures from a variety of themes, pop culture, political figures, the royal family, and so much more. For a full list of all their Lego minifigures and to see their full product line, definitely check out their website www.minifigs.me. So this is what the package that the minifigure does come in. You open it up there and you pull it out and it contains the box with the Lego minifigure and then this little pamphlet here for minifigs.me. And then we've got a ton of detailed information about minifigs.me and the products that they sell. Of course, we've also got the box here of the minifigure. We've got all their contact information, social medias here on the side. And then you actually just slide the box open and inside your minifigure is revealed. So I'm particularly very excited for this Lego minifigure. As someone with English heritage and a family that absolutely loves the royal family, this minifigure was a must have. So comparing this Lego minifigure to the actual Queen's Golden Jubilee outfit, you guys can see that the minifigs.me team did an excellent job replicating this dress. Obviously a majority of the dress is white, which you guys can see from the pictures here as well that the Queen actually wore a white dress with a lot of different lace and jewels and things like that that are really incorporated here on this look as well. It's not just a plain look, but you guys can see there are a ton of different designs and little decals and stuff like that that are really fit into this dress. Of course, the queen is also wearing that blue sash here, which is really cool, as well as included a brooch, as well as a couple different, um, I believe, war medals. One is on a blue ribbon, and one is on a pink ribbon. Now, I honestly don't know what these means, but obviously they are very significant, as they are included on both the queen's 50th Jubilee look, as well as the Lego minifigure version. Of course, she's also wearing a very big bracelet here, which you guys can see from this picture as well. Uh, it's obviously a very important part of her look, and of course, we have a Lego crown as well. This crown is a little bit different. She wore, looks like a few different ones based on the pictures that I'm being able to find here. None of them are gold, but of course Lego is very limited on the golden crowns they make. The queen also has a very big necklace on, which you guys can see in the picture and in the Lego minifigure version as well. Now that I've had the chance to compare the Lego minifigure to the actual queen on her 50th Jubilee day, let's take a look at this minifigure and talk about some of the details that minifigs.me put into it. So we'll start up here with the crown. As you guys can see, it's a golden crown, which is a little bit different than the official crown, but that's because of the Lego parts available. Attached to the crown is of course the Queen's hair piece which is just this really cool white piece perfectly fitting for the Queen. I can't think of any other piece uh, that could have done it. All the minifigure parts here do have the light flesh color which again makes sense because the Queen was very pale. It is a fully custom printed head. It is not a Lego minifigure and I think it actually looks pretty lifelike to Queen Elizabeth of course. She's got the big eyes, the big red lipstick and she just looks very you know posh and professional. She's the Queen. She's literally ruling the country which is pretty cool. In case you're wondering she does not have any back printing or anything like that. She just sticks to the front printing and of course her hair piece. Moving down to the bottom here you guys can see this is what the dress looks like. I've already talked about it in a little detail but you can see from a far away it just kind of looks white but when you really get close up you can see how much detail that minifigs.me has put into it. There's so many different silver outlines that are kind of look like jewels and you know ruffles and uh, patterns here in the dress. Lace which looks really really cool uh, as I don't know all the terminology but it is very lifelike of course to the real Queen Elizabeth's dress. I also mentioned the blue sash which is included here and it's got some of her war medals and of course a very big brooch on it which looks really cool and very realistic to the pictures as well. The sash there is partially hiding at the large necklace that is also custom printed underneath and you guys can just see a lot more of the detail on the dress. Obviously this would have been a standard white torso. Uh, that minifigs.me had to put a lot of custom printing in. And it's really neat because when you really zoom in here on the torso you can see all the different details and outlines and just how much printing work went into this Lego minifigure including the details on the medallions alone. This is what the side profile of the minifigure looks like and it's very standard of everything you'd really expect. No detailing or anything like that on the side which makes sense because there wouldn't really have been any detailing on her dress or anything like that because it just completely wraps around and of course you guys can see from the wrist here she does have the big golden bracelet like I was talking about this is on the minifigure hand it came assembled from minifigs.me and it is very very shiny 
it is using the glossy gold finish, unlike the matte finish that the crown is made from, uh, but overall looks really cool. I'm personally a big fan of this LEGO minifigure because I think that minifigs.me did an incredible job with it, and I think it's very realistic to the actual Queen's Jubilee. I also love minifigs.me because they are a UK-based company, and of course, they do have a lot of the other members of the royal family as well. All right, you guys, thank you for tuning in to today's showcase of the Queen Elizabeth Golden Jubilee from minifigs.me. This is a replication of the Queen and her Golden Jubilee look from 2002, and minifigs.me, which is a company that custom prints LEGO minifigures, did such an incredible job capturing the Queen and her look on this day. This is a really, really cool minifigure and one that I'd highly recommend. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video.